Call of Duty Infinite Warfare KBS Longbow Weapon Review. Anyway, the KBS Longbow is the good old bolt action sniper, one shot kills, <laughs> the montage king of Call of Duty Infinite Warfare here. But I'd say, because of that, it really deserves a review. And let's start it off with the stats that the in game thing gives you. It's uh, 82 on the accuracy, 86 on the damage, the range is 90, the fire rate is 33, and the mobility is 58. I'd say this thing will be around for quite a long time, but the thing is, and it's one of the starting snipers, like you unlock this as soon as you buy the game, which is, I'd say pretty cool, but then also it's pretty powerful. And, uh, yeah, after that, uh, the special perk on my brand new KBS Longbow Status, which is basically the common variant of the KBS Longbow, and it has a perk called Focus, which reduces the idle sway while aiming down sights, which also stacks with Ballistic CBU. Uh, I'd say this is a very a good thing, but I'll tell you what, that uh, the ballistic CPU, when you have this focus perk, you don't really need it. It kind of replaces it. And uh, as far as for the sight, I'm actually using the tracking chip, which basically is a little chip you put into the absolutely huge sight it has, which <laughs> makes enemies highlight it. But wait a sec, you can just slap on an optic and put on pinpoint. But the thing is, there's one s sniper specific perk which I like, and uh, I don't really want to have a, how do you call it, the, a second perk 3. And, uh, you know, the perk, this, uh, this sniper specific perk is marksman. Not really specific though, it, it can be equipped for other weapons. But the thing is, it's just a minor uh, thing, like, it's called Marksman. Acquire enemies' names from a greater distance and reduce flinch that uh, primarily affects snipers, but gives a minor benefit to other weapons. Which basically says this is kind of a sniper-only thing. So, I take away pinpoint, add the chip, and I'd say we're good to go. And, uh, yeah, when it comes to the secondary in the gameplay, you'll see me use the EMC, uh, but I'd say the Oni, the Kindle 44, and the Hellstorm make m a lot better sidearms than the EMC, uh, because of, well, damage. <laughs> and, uh, when it comes to other perks, I have momentum, so I can just get into battle uh, faster, uh, we have the good old marksman perk and dexterity so I can actually swap to my secondary weapon a lot faster which is very good for canceling reloads or I mean uh, you know a bolt action thing but then also good to get to my sidearm faster and uh, yeah and for some reason I sometimes go off on the um, I'd say the FTL, the Warfighter, or the Merc, as what I'm using here. Uh, I don't know why, but I think it might have to do something with the algorithm of the game itself. Uh, but, I tell you what, the when it comes to sniping in general here, all the snipers have good and bad things. Like, this one is good old bolt action, but it has a lot of damage. And, uh, and the aim down sight time is kind of weird. And then... Uh, we have the the assault rifle slash sniper, which basically has a lot of recoil, and uh, but the upside, which is not really an upside, it can turn into an assault rifle, with an automatic assault rifle, and then we have the widowmaker, which does get quite a bit of hit markers, but well, I'd say it has a pretty good fire rate, and then uh, also comes in at the DMR. Uh, not really any upsides except for a person that's camping. <laughs> but, yeah, until, 
Tell you what, the KBS song was one of the best snipers in the game. In other than uh, maybe the uh, widow and maybe the assault rifle one, yeah, because of its potential to one shot kill from I think the waist up, well, I like the good old SVG 100 from Black Ops 3. But anyway, smack that like button, hit the sub, drop the comment, and I will see you guys later for another video on my channel. I'm out of here. Thank <laughs> you.